This from uh, Zach Carter writing over at the Huffington Post. House Republicans are again attacking measures aimed at protecting U.S. troops from predatory lending practices. Two weeks after a similar Republican effort failed. Why do Republicans want to want to stick it to our, our members of our armed services and help out this predatory lending industry? Well, I guarantee you, once again, this industry is giving money to these le- legislators. The military... Zach Carter writes, has been grappling with the financial impact of predatory lending on service members for years. In 2006, Congress passed legislation cracking down on some forms of high-interest credit, particularly payday lending. Lenders responded by exploiting loopholes in the law, and late last year, the Department of Defense proposed a new set of regulations designed to to curb those workarounds, in other words, stop the loopholes. Republicans are trying to kill those regulations before they take effect. These are regulations from the Department of Defense. Republicans are trying to prevent the, 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 the military from defending their own employees against predatory, you know, these payday loans, against, you know, 100%, 200%, 300% interest. This is mind-boggling. And the House is actually going to bu- uh, vote on a piece of legislation put forward by the Republican from uh, Ohio, Representative Steve Stivers, as part of the National Defense Authorization Act, that would basically make it impossible for the Pentagon to stop the payday lenders from screwing soldiers financially. Thousands of service members receive short-term high-interest loans every year, according to a 2014 report. One family took out a $2,600 loan, ended up paying back $3,900 over the course of a year. Another Another borrowed... Uh, 485 and had to pay back $1,400 over a six-month period. And who is this guy, Stivers from Ohio, who wants to stop the Pentagon from stopping this horrible behavior by the banksters? Well, again, according to this article in the Huffington Post, Stivers has been one of the payday lending industry's favorite members of Congress. Over the 2012 and 2014 election cycle, payday lending companies contributed $69,625 to his campaign according to OpenSecrets.org. Traditional banks have joined with smaller payday loan companies in lobbying against the Defense Department rules because they, you know, they want to be in the business too. Tammy Duckworth is doing everything she can. She's in the House Armed Services Committee to stop this. She's the Democrat from Illinois and a veteran, a veteran of the Iraq War, in fact, a wounded veteran of the Iraq War. This is nuts. Twice in a row in a week, the Republicans are trying to stick it to our soldiers. Can you imagine if a Democrat was doing that? It would be 24-7 news. It would be at the top of Drudge. It would be, you know, NPR would be reporting on it breathlessly every hour. It would be the, the, the number one story on Fox News for two days in a row. Democrats hate soldiers. Can you imagine? And yet when Republicans try to do it, the media goes, well, that's not a story. The Republicans don't give a rat's ass about working people, even military working people. So we're not even going to bother reporting it. We think everybody knows that. Well, everybody doesn't know that. That's why they vote Republican. You're listening to Tom Hartman. Visit TomHartman.com for audio and video archives. But I'm telling you about it. Huffington Post is telling you about it. And hopefully you'll tell some people about it. And we can wake this country up.